What's up, YouTube? This is Dodgeless82, and we're back for more of The Beast Inside. It is September 27th, in the year of our Lord, 1864. Evening, almost night. Never before have I kept a diary, but they say that it might be a chance for me to reclaim the memories I have lost. Besides, Writing entails a clarity of thought, it makes it easier to distinguish facts from imagination. Chapter 2 It is September 27th, in the year of our Lord, 1864. Evening, almost night. Never before have I kept a diary, but they say that it might be a chance for me to reclaim the memories I have lost. Besides, writing entails a clarity of thought makes it easier to distinguish facts from imagination. I'm home again after ten years absence. I'm relieved to find the house unscathed. That's good. It's the only roof I have over my head for now. I should light some candles and take a look around. No trace of my father. Did I honestly think he would welcome me at the door? He vanished a decade ago. Not so much as leaving a letter. The house feels strange, even though it has not changed one bit. There are fears creeping out of the darkness whose source I cannot define. But memories will come back. That's what they told me. Maybe then I will realize what happened to my father. And what happened to me. Press tab to read the diary. Nicholas writes down his thoughts as well as all important information. Press space to continue. Okay, so the dad hit him in the head. Me, him, him, this dude, in the head. So it wasn't paint. Mr. Resolved, this thing should not be in the house. And then he capped it. So that's that's a really jerky thing to do. He was like, look, don't start with me or else you'll get the, sh the sheriff in, uh, against your head again. Open, please. Man, this is a squeaky, rickety house. Cue. Whose idea was it to live here? I mean, who's, whose idea was it to move me here? And why did they place this chair here? I, oh my gosh. Why did you come back to this house? I'm... My father and his partner, a few days after opening their pyrite mine. Okay. I think I'm good with moving the, the, the heavy objects. Jacob Hyde and George Whitehead, April 4th, 1840. Holy cow. Oh, can you put this lamp on high? Because this, this is not high enough for me. Okay, come on. We don't even have that much kerosene. Light more candles. Yes, please. I do not. Yeah, I think... I think this house is legit creepy. I think even if it had lights on, it'd be creepy. My father bought this land for practically nothing. His friend, Judge Norton, signed the contract and the deal was made. That's how they did it back then. Um, what? My father knew what was hidden underneath. He just needed someone with the resources to open a mine. That's when he met George. Then he built the inn, and for a time, he was actually rolling in it. Good old days. But I'm afraid it's not coming back. Joshua took 200 extra just to set it up. A dollar and 25 cents... Per acre? I don't, I, I can't read that. 
Let's see. Four hundred dollars. Well, yeah, a dollar twenty-five per acre. Yeah, good old days indeed. It's something about old. <laughs> something about old places. Yes, let's light the candle under the. Upstairs. What could it be? I don't care. I don't care what it is. It's upstairs. I'm downstairs. I'm out the door. That's a nice jacket. Can can we go? Just go. What could it be? Is not. I thought the window was bolted shut. <laughs> oh, I miss layers of fear. Things were things were better then. You thought you thought it was shut. All, all right. Hey, what are you doing here? This is private property. Can't, you can't even close the dang windows. How are you? Look, you can't even be intimidating when you can't even close some dang windows. Are we going downstairs? Sure. 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 I mean, he's outside. He's outside. You don't even have a gun. You didn't even, you're not even going to bring a coat rack. Where the hell did he go? Hey, you still here? I'd better take a look. <laughs> Are you still here? I'm at the shed. Maybe I can find something in there. Like him. Like him. Do you know what? This way. Bro, you gonna leave your door? Close it. Close it. It's like freaking inviting werewolves, vampires, and beavers in your home things are in the shed like sharp things like like um tools and you have nothing but a lantern sheds are creepy <laughs> all right stop whining and just go in Man, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how many times you play this. It's, yeah, it's creepy. Come on. Rotate it. Why is everything red? Oh. Oh. Oh, that was a shiver up my freaking spine. And the trees are haunted. Did he go inside my shed and then bolt it and chain it shut? Because this is his property now. He can have it. Come, well, oh my gosh. He can have it. Look, we don't even have the bottoms to our barrels. We can't afford to not have someone rent. Oh my goodness. Cut it. Like, seriously, what if, how is he in here? <laughs> and then he moved the barrel in the way. this look at all these sharp things look and then I'm gonna close the door behind me so he can <sighs> stick me under a bloody sheet can't read this terrible crime shocked the peaceful local community the deputy sheriff called to the Okay, called to the inn, confirmed the man's death. What? John Norton had been considered missing the last few weeks. The assailant was exceptionally brutal. The victim's throat was slashed and many cuts and burns all over his body suggest prolonged torture. That's him? Okay. A yep. murder? Here? John Norton. Sounds familiar. Uh, that dude that uh, was in Birdman. That's my father's no. hat. <laughs> the basement. Did he leave this as some kind of clue for me? What I the should look freak? What? What? 
Um. What is happening? This isn't, this isn't normal. This better not be normal. And you're using up my kerosene. That's my father's hat. The basement. Did he leave this as some kind of clue for me? I should look into it. stress in my life. I don't feel like looking for that vagabond in a dead night. I better go home. Like home home? Like not here home? No, I closed the door. <gasps> this isn't even the dude we saw next to the well. This is another dude. One outside, one inside. What? Do you let yourself in? Hey, are you deaf? I'm talking to you. Who closed the door? If I tell anyone about this, I'll end up in the asylum. Hmm. 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 That's the least of your worries, bro. That's the least of them. And. <laughs> I don't understand. I, I don't understand what this person is. It's not like you didn't have... <laughs> murders. Oh, thank you. <laughs> you could have just told me there was kerosene over there. You didn't have to do all that. I gotta clean that up later. Am I exempt? I swear. I swear, I'm not okay. <laughs> I was fine the first time I did this. I'm not okay now. Where did all this blood come from? Dear God. You can do this. Open a door. You can do this. <laughs> I, I, can't, I can't relate. What would you do if you saw this? This is the craziest thing. And you would open? Nah. No. Nah. No. No. Let's we'll see if this is a good idea. <laughs> Look at all of that blood. <laughs> I can't. You're fine. You're fine. Open the door. Yup. And then you would go downstairs? Nah. Nah, this dude walking like he, like he, he walking in your basement like he belongs here and you're the one intruding. That's an issue. Nah, I'm fine with mice. Mice ain't an issue. My, you know, I'm alright with, I'm alright with mice. It's the white face dude that's an issue and the dang horse looking at me from around the corner like, yo, you really gonna go down there? You really gonna do this? Yup, I am. I promise y'all, bro. If y'all... <laughs> this is... He's not, even gonna... he's not even gonna clean it up. You know he's not even gonna clean it up either. He's gonna leave this crap for me to clean. This is dumb. I'm, 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 
I'm already crouching. Why you got so many pictures of people's faces? Nope. Nope. Give me the kerosene. Nope. 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 Mm -mm. Maybe there's another way in. Find the side entrance. Bro. This dude. This dude knows. <sighs> he knows where Damn your side it. entrance Maybe is. Maybe there's something in my briefcase that will help get it open. In your... I have you, to get in you, there. You're... Whatever happened, I hope it's not my father's blood. Oh, that's what you're worried about? You're not worried about it being your blood in a minute? Hmm. That's interesting. That is very interesting. Crouch? Yep. Am I delusional? Mother... What? What? Are you del... What? I can't! My life! My life! The fact that you are so... Bro, take that horse out of your dang basement. What the hell is that? Looks like... Roots? I need to get rid of them before I leave the basement. You've never struggled a day in your life if you think this is normal. Maybe I can find something to cut those roots with you. I already got it. I got it already. We can keep up. He's upstairs. What does he want from me? You should go ask. Go and ask him. He's already claiming the master bedroom, son. He's already claiming it. He's upstairs. Like, where? <sighs> He's hanging up his shelves. He's putting his underwear in your dresser. I have no idea why I took it to to the place where I spent the last decade. I can't even remember which lock it fits. Just take it. Nah, I don't like quiet either. Guess what? This window open. Just some poacher, more like a f sadistic hunter. What? Ooh. Dear Pinata. Oh, 